Hello students, and today we are going to start on a topic, chapter 7.1, Pythagoras' Theorem. Okay, for this one, I'm actually moving on to your Discovery Mathematics 2B textbook. So you need to go and prepare your 2B textbook. Okay, now, Pythagoras. I am not going to go into his story, you know, they make this video too long, but this guy over here is Pythagoras. You can actually go and Google Pythagoras for more of his story. Now, into the lesson proper. First, in a right angle triangle, Pythagoras' theorem only works for right angle triangle. I repeat, only for right angle triangles, okay? So now, in the right angle triangle, there's the 90 degrees over here. Then, opposite the 90 degrees, like this, will be the longest side. This longest side will be known as the hypotenuse over here. Okay, so just remember that 90 degrees, the opposite side, this is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse will always, always be the longest side in a right angle triangle. Okay, hi, for Pythagoras' theorem, it states that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. So once again, I will not go into the proof of Pythagoras' theorem, but you can just uh, look at it, right, and go and Google proof, okay, of Pythagoras' theorem, and it'll show you a lot of different ways, right, in which you can prove. In fact, okay, just to go back to the previous slide, if you look down here at the picture below here, this itself is a way of proving that Pythagoras' theorem is actually true. Okay, so basically it is this, so 90 degrees, so we always start with the hypotenuse, which is C squared. So in summary, okay, if all these words, it means this, if you take the hypotenuse, you square it. Okay, the hypotenuse is always denoted by C. So C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared. So C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared. That in essence is Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, now we are just going to dive straight into some questions. So you can go and look at page 4 for the very first uh, question, try it 1. Okay, try it 1 says this. Okay, you can read the question. I will quickly just sketch out okay, the triangle for you. So uh, angle A, C, B. A, C is 5, B, C is 12. Okay, so if I notice it's a right angle triangle, they did say that A, C, B is 90. So what I can do is apply Pythagoras' theorem. So please do write the word by Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, I will say that AB squared. Why AB squared? AB is the hypotenuse, the longest side. Is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared. So AB is squared is equal to 169, square rooting both sides. AB is equal to 13 cm. No need to bother about the negative root because what we are looking for here is a length. So I'll just write it as 13 cm. Okay, now still on page 4, we have tried 2. If you can, you can pause the video, try to draw a sketch of the triangle. If not, I will draw the sketch for you now. Okay, so basically we got X. Z and Y. This is 8. This is 17. We have the right angle over here. This is a sketch of the triangle here. So once again, same thing, I'll say by Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, be very careful. Which we always have C squared goes to A squared plus B squared. We always start with the hypotenuse. So can you identify which is the hypotenuse in this case? Is it Z, Y? Is it the 8? Or is it the 17? In this case, if you notice, we are looking opposite the 90 degrees. This side will be the hypotenuse. Hence, we start with 17. So I say 17 square is equal to 8 square plus yz square. So yz square is equal to 17 square minus 8 square yz square is equal to 2 to 5 square rooting both sides yz is equal to 15 cm okay i'm now moving on to try it three this is found on page five they should give you a nice diagram over there 
So first and foremost, okay, I'm trying to find the length of PQ. So I'm trying to find the length of PQ over there. Okay, wrong two there. This is PQ. So now, again, if it's a right angle triangle, so I'm considering triangle PQR, this small triangle here, okay? So I will say this. So for part A, I'll begin by Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, I will say 12 square, always the hypotenuse first, is equals to PQ square plus 7 square. PQ square is equals to 95. If I square root both sides, PQ is square root of 95. My PQ value will give me 9.75 cm, given correct to three significant figures. Now, I'm trying to find the length of PS. In this case, for PS, the triangle that I consider is triangle PQS. This triangle, this is 90 degrees. We start the hypotenuse, which is over here. Okay, so now I will start with PS square is equals to square root of 95. Why square root of 95? Because in the previous portion, I found that the length of PQ is square root of 95. So I say square root of 95 square plus 18 square. Where did I get 18? 7 plus 11 gives you 18 cm. So if I simplify, when you square a square root, what you get is you remove the square root sign, so I get 95, okay, plus 18 square. So PS square is equals to 419. If I square root both sides, PS is equals to 20.5 cm. Okay, I'm going to move on to question 4, alright, this is actually in your exercise uh, itself already 7.1, you can be found on page 5 of your textbook. Okay, so we need to draw a diagram, let me just sketch a diagram for you, so they say that uh, there's a y x z is 90, okay, let me just draw the triangle out now, just give me a short moment. If you can, you can try to sketch it out. If not, I will do the sketching first. Okay, so now I have a triangle. This is 90 degrees. Okay, so I will start with uh, Z, then X, and then we have Y, X is 3, and the hypotenuse is 7. So, I ask you to find the length of X, Z. Notice that we're doing the same thing over and over again because this is a right angle triangle. Over here, we can apply Pythagoras' theorem. And I'll say this, 7 square is equals to 3 square plus x, z square. I went over the mechanics of this before already, so I shall just move a bit faster x square is equal to 40. I square root both sides of the equation, I get 6.32 centimeters. Okay, now I'm going to look right at question 7a. This can be found on page 6 of your textbook itself. So let me focus now on this. So notice right, first you must uh, notice where the right angle triangles are. So if there's one right angle triangle here for this one, and there's another right angle triangle for this one. Okay, I will not focus on the smaller right angle triangle first because this contains a Y, this contains a 3X. There are two different variables, X and Y here. So I don't think we are able to solve that yet. So what I'm going to focus on is on the large triangle first, down here like this. So now I will first begin okay, by saying this. Okay, I will say that 50, I will use Pythagoras' theorem once again. So by Pythagoras' theorem. Fifty-one square is equals to five x. 
Okay, be careful here. Make sure you bracket the whole thing. 5x squared plus 45 squared. Okay, why do I tell you to be careful down here? Because if you don't put a bracket, later on you may make some mistakes when you expand 5x squared. So if I start to do this, what I get is 2601 is equals to is it 5x squared or 25x squared? In this case, be careful. The square applies to the 5 and to the x as well. So what I get is 25x squared plus 2025. So therefore, 25x squared is equals to 2601 minus 2025. What I get is 576. Dividing both sides by 25, what I get is x squared is equals to, sorry, I will get, uh, if I solve, x, right, will be the square root. Okay, so solving, x is equals to 576 divided by 25, I square root, my x value gives me 4.8 cm. Okay, once I actually have that, the x value is 4.8, I can actually try to find y. So for the next part, I'm trying to focus on this smaller triangle, triangle here and I'm trying to find y. Notice I'll have the value of 3x here already because I already have the value of x. So now once again, I will apply Pythagoras' theorem. I'll say that y square is equals to 3x square plus 45 square. Okay, now if you solve, okay, y square is equals to 3 times 4.8. Okay, so it's 3 times 4.8. And I square this plus 45 square. You solve for y, you get 47.2 cm. Correct to three significant figures. Okay, I am now on the very, very last question for this portion before I let you off to go and do your work via class kick. So now, the diagonal of a square is 12 cm. Find the length of the side of a square. Okay, so let me just quickly sketch a square first. Okay, not the prettiest of squares, but it doesn't matter. I know that the length of the diagonal is 12 cm. Okay, find the length of the side of a square. So I know for a square, the corner here will be 90 degrees. If I call this side x, the other side will also be x because for a square, all four sides have the same length. So let me call it x. So I'll begin and I'll say that, let the side be x so now by Pythagoras' theorem once again I have 12 square okay I have 12 square is equals to x square plus x square so if I solve x square plus x square is 2x square is equals to 144 x square is equals to 72 square rooting both sides i find that my x value is equals to 8.49 <coughs> okay finally they want me to find the area of a square maybe i just uh, do this thing here first yeah, i pull it down the intermediate step here is x is equal to square root of 72 okay just a point to note this point this square root 72 is known as a third form and it's the most accurate okay so in the event that you need to use the value of x once again okay it is so much better for you to actually use the value of uh, square root of 72 as opposed to 8.49 so finally now for part b the area of the square is equals to x times x, so it's x square, which is equals to square root of 72 square, and I find that the in my area of my square is equals to 72 cm square. And that's <coughs>
Okay, and that concludes our lesson for 7.1.